the last time a video game made my heart race this much was the first time I ever played Tarkov. And this game brought the feeling back. Here we go for democracy. Freedom marches onward, thanks to you. When I first played this game, I immediately had a goal that I could not stop thinking about: to be able to finish a solo run on the hardest difficulty called Helldive. And as a newcomer to the Helldivers universe, there was a lot to learn before I could get there. It was late night after late night, squatting with friends trying to learn as much as I could. But if I could boil it down to two things I learned that helped me get to a point where I was confident to run solo on the hardest difficulty, it was number one, use loadouts that you like, not what others think is best. And number two, to slow it down and be patient. After six days of trial and error, going to sleep frustrated at times, I still could not stop thinking about completing my goal. So finally, on the seventh day of playing this game, I took a crack at a solo run on the hardest difficulty, Helldive. Oh, we got boys already. Found Let them come. Let them brawl. Let them face the insurmountable right. might That's of their one way to get warmed up. Okay, so we'll slow down a bit. I'll find a spot, drop all my stuff, and uh, I'll just relax a bit. To set the tone of the game. A big part of my strategy is to maximize the time I have. My goal is to get the main objective done, which is to launch a nuke, then survive an extract. With this in mind, I should have enough time to take it slow. So I take a quiet corner to grab my support weapon, a railgun. Where is our first Drop objective? East. I hear something ahead. We'll take it slow. One thing I'm learning is that I have to really get rid of the small guys first. That's like number one priority. Because they're the ones who shoot flares in the sky to call back up. So if we get rid of them, they can't call back up. And less enemies to deal with. We gotta go survey the area first. There's a ton of guys here. I guess I could try going to the back side. Get a clearer view. Oh, everything's jammed. That is rough. What were the chances? There's a jammer in the area, so I can't call for support or airstrikes on this compound where my objective's at. Not sure if I should just fight this, but if they call a bot drop, there's nothing I can do. As I mentioned, I could deal with this compound without my stratagems. But I'll have to make sure I wipe them out before they have an opportunity to call for backup. So I found an angle I liked to approach the compound, then made my move. Oh boy, there's a lot to deal with. So ideally, I have to get rid of the small guys first because they're the ones who can call backup. But then again, I don't have a good angle on them. It's going to be a long shot, but whew, I, I think I'm just going to go for it. All right. Do or die. Here we go. They called the bot drop. Damn it. That was my bad. I got greedy. I'm kind of screwed here because the, the bot drop is coming and I have no strategies. But uh, I'm, I'm going to hold out as long as I can.
Ah, I got stuck. Alright, I have three more lives. Let's make him count. Democracy has landed. No way. I think I cleared the compound with my last bullet too. Where's the Where's the objective? There's a tank right there. Oh there it is, there it is. Okay, alright, alright. Now that I retrieved the launch codes for the nuke we have to launch for our main objective, I now have to head to a nearby power generator to power the nuke. But along the way, I gotta avoid trouble I don't need. Oh shoot, there's a whole patrol. And as I approach the compound to my next task, of course, it's covered by automatons again. Just like last time, I gotta make sure they don't have an opportunity to call for backup. Bot drop, who called the bot drop? Unfortunately, backup was called, so I make a run for the hills. Alright, I just stay undetected for a while. After about a minute, it seemed like I was an aggroed, but it doesn't change the fact that there are more units on the ground now because of that bot drop. So I prep to do my objective, but with the mindset that I'll have to fight for my life. I call for a resupply and get locked and loaded. Okay, there's a little squad there I have to get rid of. Drop called. That's good. Get the terminal. Come on. patrol coming oh shoot it's a patrol coming 12 o'clock i tried calling for a sentry gun here as a patrol approached but one of the effects of fighting on this planet is a scrambled stratagem meaning a random stratagem will be activated no matter which i choose so i gotta keep activating it until i get the one i want i end up not getting the sentry gun after a couple of tries so i scrapped that idea Reload my primary. There's one more walker. Activate the, uh, there you go. Alright, power generator activated. Now it's Standing time for Northwest. the fuel. This is huge. It's the furthest I've ever gone as a solo with two more objectives to go. I gotta move to the next one, but the automatons won't make this as easy as I want. 
I hear some behind me, so I decide to take them out before leaving, fearing another bot trap. This was a big mistake. Let's get out of here. Because a bot drop was called anyway. Patrol. The bot drops are here. Yeah, I just gotta keep running. Don't look back. Just keep running. I look back. Okay, we got away from that. It's R1. After thankfully surviving that near onslaught, I kept moving forward following the coastline for safety. This was the longer way to my objective, but it was safer. Kind of. Sounds like just one guy. I can just get rid of this dude. super near. Just across the water is my next objective. I'm making good progress, but I can't drop the ball now. Oh man, my heart is pumping. I safely make it across the water and slowly approach our second to the last objective. Okay, we got some fairly big bots here. I see a lot of enemies in the minimap, so I decide to set up here and prep to fight this. Deploying equipment package. Sub-objective nearby. So it's one, two, it's a lot of stuff. Little guy there. I think, um... Call an auto cannon, maybe? I'll call an auto cannon for him to deal with the big guys. Then I need to take out the small ones. But, two... One sec, let me just get a better view of what I'm dealing with here. Alright, I just gotta go for this. Wish me luck, boys. Here we go. Deploying sentry. Ah, they called the bot drop. I gotta throw everything I've done. Almost there. I'm so close to launching this nuke, it's crazy. And just like that, we're one objective away. See how much do we got? We gotta keep moving. 16 minutes to launch this nuke and then get out. So, this seems like. A lot of small guys here I can probably deal with. Okay. 
five. Okay, grenade that there. No. Unbelievable. He got the bot drop on me. Launch this nuke. Gotta get rid of those uh, little guys here to the right. Okay, it's three. Small guys there as well. Okay, twelve minutes. Eight, seven, three, four. Okay, let's unlock this stuff. I'm reloading by accident. It's all up. Down, I have to get my stuff back, especially the rail gun. Yeah. You almost called the bot drop. Scrambled stratagems are rough. I mean, it's not horrible. All the mud drops.
on. We're so close to finishing this. Need my need my stuff back. Sending down equipment package. My real gun's back. Come on, eight minutes, eight minutes. Okay, we got one more orbital laser and 110 rocket pods. B2. Missile fluid fueling. Come on. And then we go for extract right after. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Goodbye, Nuke. For democracy. Freedom marches on. You. Time for extract. Oh, that's a patrol right there. I can just completely ignore those guys. Successfully able to walk past them. Could probably call a resupply back here. for extract. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's hide. Wait for extract. Kill time a little bit here. But we're too far from. Four minutes. Avoided the Oh no no no, no. he called the bot drop. ATA T minus three minutes. Freedom never sleep. Probably the laser, that's it. My last orbital laser. Thank you. 
One minute 30. I was gonna hold on. Things are a little quiet, I think. I can call another auto cannon in 18 seconds. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. 10 seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. ETA, T minus one minute. Come on, let me call my sentry. Come on, let me call my sentry. There we go. Sending down sentry. seconds three landing zone our, our things here our things here one arriving at coordinates oh lord we're getting swarmed we're getting swarmed okay shuttles here shuttles here let's go come on auto cannons protect me oh my god we did it Oh, hell dive solo. Hell dive solo. Today you carved another foot in a long did it. climb to liberty. GG. My heart hasn't raced like this for a video game in a while. So thank you, hell divers. If you guys want to catch more heart pumping action though, don't miss this video right here. Thank you to the Patreon supporters, Yang, Fluffy Hamster, and Blossom.